All right, how's it going? <laughs> I've gotten late today, but that's fine. I was just uh, doing kind of a shakedown run. Uh, police, I would patrol. Orm Ranch, natural beef, nice. Orm's cool, cool. Um, I was just kind of doing the shakedown run on the XR, uh, trying to get a couple miles on it. I probably put. Oh, 60 miles, 50, 60 miles on it since I've added the upside down forks, um, the triple clamps. I had to buy a CRX, uh, I'm sorry, CRF450X front wheel. And what else? I added the little Voyager to it, and oh, the FMF uh, full exhaust with the, uh, the power bomb uh, head pipe, power bomb uh, exhaust with the uh, power four uh, muffler, and then I have a quiet insert in. I can tell you the quiet insert doesn't really. Uh, do a whole lot so I mean to me it sounds the same so but I was just uh, off today and getting a little bit of miles on the bike and just to see uh, you know make sure everything's working I uh, haven't noticed any um, steering issues I haven't put the lowering link in yet but I haven't noticed any steering issues uh, speed on the reads exactly the same. I've compared it to the uh, GPS reading and it's about two or three miles an hour off just like the uh, factory one. I mean just like when it was stock with the uh, regular forks and wheel. So I'll pull up here and I will give you a look-see. Um, got the new bars on. Everything kind of feels the same. I haven't stood up. Yeah, I'm still kind of low. And uh, there are risers and stuff on here, but uh, yeah, you, you are kind of low with this setup. So at some point, I may need uh, taller bars or increase, no, put another set of risers or something on here. But, uh, for me, the pipe's too loud. But when I'm running the earplugs, um, it's, it's fine. It doesn't bother me at all. Oh, and the other thing is I put in the JNS LED headlight. So, um, I took it on a little ride last night, and that was actually really a good addition. So, I'll probably do a separate shootout just on that, or a separate uh, video just on that. But the bike does run really well. Um, uh, what do we Orm School. I've never seen it. Orm Ranch. Okay, cool. Um, but the bike does run uh, really well. I mean, it's, it's got power right off the bottom. I should try and uh, give it gas on this road. See if my sputtering's in. Ended. So, I did put a 52 Pilot up from the stock 50. And I did put the 158 um, main gen. And I was just going off what people had said on the web. There is a, a spacer, buzzer, peak spacer. Uh, there is a spacer under the needle. I did measure it. It was the one that was in the uh, other bike's carburetor, stock carburetor. So I just put that in, used the stock Honda needle. Um, anyway, yeah, I've never seen this. I've heard Orm School. Very cool. So, looks like they got some rain up here today. You know, there's the clouds there. This way is east. So. Huh. Wow, it's quite the quite the facility.
private property, the Orm School. Oh, very cool. Welcome to the Orm School. Huh? I guess I should turn around and go out since it's private property, but yeah, it's very cool. I'm just going to do a quick walk around, give you guys a look. Oh, I stretch my legs. It will be nice to put the lowering link in because even with this little pack on the back, it's. Uh, I'll be glad when the lowering link's in. So, anyway, here's the forks. There's the uh, JNS Racing headlight, LED light, and oh, the cars are coming. Um, yeah, I got the upside down forks, had to use the uh, CR450X front wheel so I could run the speedometer drive. I had I bought a uh, CRF450X speedo unit. It was actually the whole axle and everything with the spacers. And bought that. I really like the light. It puts out a lot more light. Um, this is plastic, so you got to be real careful with this. It's not glass. And you do get the light bar doesn't put out much light these two guys are the ones that put out the light if you want to uh, get the light bar so it works on high and low beam it was the blue wire white stripe um, got the uh, FMF uh, power bomb exhaust going up here Let's see if it's burn my yeah, it's starting to burn it um, got the FMF power core 4 uh, got the quiet insert with the spark arrestor and this is that rack from norm nomadic um, everything else is the same it it doesn't even look like the same bike with the uh, upside downs it's like geez honda why can't you build it like that i tried to put everything back on so it made it look stock so um, even the, even down to the reflectors um, the uh, screens for bike windscreen is excellent. I did a road trip on the way up here down the highway. It does so nice. Um, I'm running, that's right, I'm running this extra, I think an IMS or Clark Tank. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, anyway, I like this way better. I like the way it mounts. Um, I did put the other breather on it. I'm going to get a longer hose, run it under the seat. But anyway... Yeah, that's that's basically it. I mean, it's you know what I I I had no intentions of doing forks and everything to it, but um, you know, since it was basically free by the other parts bike, nice thing is everything bolts up. You still have your original uh, hole for the key. Everything mounts. Everything mounts like factory. Um, so I'm gonna swing my big old leg over this thing. But yeah, everything mounts up like factory on these, uh, uh, geez, I'm going to get it wrong, R RWS uh, fork clamps. If you're going to do the conversion, don't mess around with anything else. So, oh, put this guy back. Okay, now let's hit it. Oh, no way. First time since I've owned the bike. Woohoo! Damn, this thing's got some power. <laughs> and I can get up on the tank with this thing. So, first time I've actually owned the bike and it hasn't sputtered on me. Oh, my word. Man, no way. No way. I can't believe it. Um, it has never run like this. It has always <laughs> sputtered. Um, man, that is the first time this thing has ever. I'm just thrilled. And I went from New River to Cordes Junction. 
it was 30 miles exactly I thought well I'll top off and it took one gallon so I'm getting 30 miles to the gallon Ooh, I don't know there's a lot of people getting better but and I was cruising 65 70 down the road I wasn't really redlining it I was just kind of just cruising getting the feel for the thing boy this is actually a pretty kick-ass road uh, if you want to come out or something so come out look at the stars or something yeah. Looks like I'm the only one on it today other than the uh, kind of truck that's been down. I'll have to stop and put my uh, liner back in the jacket. I took it out in the summertime. I mean, it looks like I have a jacket, but it's basically mesh. Um, so the earth is blowing right through. Okay, I still see the 17 interstate over that way. That's so interesting. There's uh, all kinds of buildings up here. Yeah, building day. Huh. Wow, there's like a two-track road that leads down to the uh, the clump of trees down there. That is cool. All right. Upside down forks, boys and girls. Upside down forks. Uh, the front wheel I got off eBay was brand new. I think it was uh, 125 or something like that. Uh, I just used a disc that was on the CRF 450 motocross bike. And you know what? Let's just kind of mosey up the hill. Oh, there we go. Boy, I tell you, it is worlds better. I mean, it's it's not even the same bike. It is not even the same bike. Oh, I found a cool camping spot. Jeez.